Okay. Okay, gentlemen, so today we, we need to go through a quick uh, video. And you see, do not mess up uh, your, uh, your brass, the expensive brass. This is only fire formed and one shot only. So, and you know, you should learn from your mistakes, but okay. Uh, I'm a seasoned uh, reloader, but this is, it was a, an improved uh, case and I don't have experience uh, if I need to expand the neck or not. I used uh, uh, a bushing for this one, so most likely it does not need expanding for the mandrel. But any case, I must one, okay? And I hope this video will teach you not to uh, repeat this mistake. Okay, so uh, this is a, a PRC-based Sherman Improved, which is called now uh, uh, Sherman Magnum okay it's only a PRC case with a 40 degree uh, shoulder angle okay so this is a fully prepped case uh, sized uh, trimmed and this one actually is uh, uh, it has it used a, a, a case snack a bushing of 337 okay so as such, it does not need expansion for the neck, you know. I tried the necks actually a little bit and actually they have very, very little resistance to expand anything is needed. Uh, so, but uh, today we're going to teach you how to set up a, a, a Sinclair mandrel that does, that does not have a cutaway here where you can see the height of the case neck compared. Why you get this one here crashed like this is because of the mandrel. This is the mandrel. And if you look at it, there is here the side. If you put this is too low and the case is too long, this will crush the neck and push it down as we saw it in the deformed case. So today we're gonna teach you how to set up uh, the mandrel uh, die okay and without uh, without crushing uh, this uh, let us call it a 300 PRC case okay so what we're gonna do is the follow okay this is the bushing for Hornady die which is a quick change quick and load bushing and this is a Hornady press uh, old uh, trusty press so and this is a simpler mandrel and uh, and this is the die so how are we gonna do it okay if we, I put the case uh, like this one and without a die it will protrude up and if you see this is the neck that has to go inside this one so we need it to go like this not more than that and we should have enough space between uh, uh, this one, okay, and the case, so this won't smash it down. Now, if we cannot have a cutaway here, we are not certain how much we're gonna put it down, okay? So, there should be a trick, right? Okay, so here's the trick, uh, what we're gonna do, okay? So first, um, uh, you remove the, the, co the collar, locking, lock, locking collar, okay okay all the way up and then when you try to thread this down okay without the cap or this is the cap the die cap and this is the plug or the band rail. so we're gonna keep going down okay now we're gonna start seeing the case mouth okay start coming out okay so and what we need to do is while we got it going down okay and we uh, we start touching now the case neck okay but we need to go up all the way again okay and we put the plug in here okay so so we know actually that this is uh, all the way up so this one here will hit this the end of the cap here okay so K 
Okay, this is actually not, not doing anything yet. Okay, so if I if I look at the case, okay, it uh, the case actually will start uh, pushing up the case neck when the plug at the same time. If you notice here that the case neck uh, actually it's maybe a third of an inch. Okay, this is a 308 uh, case length. Uh, sorry. The, ne the neck length is almost uh, three, uh, point 0.3 inches, okay, on a 3PRC, which is at least one caliber uh, of the case. Now, this is, could be a little less, but I'm not that concerned. What the idea is that when you pull, when you, when you raise this one, this shouldn't go more than what should, this goes inside, okay? This is like third of an inch, okay? So we're gonna say, let us make it half of one inch, but not more than that, okay? So this is less than half of one inch here, actually. So the idea, it should protrude between third of an inch and half an inch, but not more than that. So when I cycle up, you see, I cycle up, and it does not go more than that, okay? So, now we, did, we lower this one here, we put the cap, and while holding this one all the way down and we're gonna tr give it a try okay you see the neck is just like going down smoothly okay and this is why I said it does not need more than that okay okay so let's say I'm satisfied with this one and I will need to lock it down for the ring locking ring okay and this is, has been tied a bit here so now when I expand the neck it will expand it and it won't uh, crush the the shoulder okay let us grab another one and we're gonna take this one and put it here and we're gonna try to drop it as you see it's very smooth there is no need to expand anything actually because the neck bushing die has has done the work for us Okay, but today you learn something how to set up this so it won't crush the shoulders for you. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked uh, the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.